Hey folks, uh, it is Vic here, and I know it's the weekend, but I I, had to, I just had to record these uh, these trades and show them to you. They're they're just they just still amaze me to this day, and I've been doing this since 2010. Not only were there four LCT trades on Friday, uh, that was non-farm payroll day, but there were two trades that were early, and I'll show them to you as well. Okay, and in the course I illustrate how to trade these early trades as well as the regular LCT trades, because not everybody can be around for the London close. If this style of trading is what you're looking for, I would challenge you to find something better. Like the accuracy is hovering around 90% uh, over the 126 videos that I've recorded since October of 2022 and posted to our members area. And when I say 90%, I mean that they've either won or broken even, just a shade under 90% of the time. And only 10% of the time have they actually lost. I mean, that's that's what the actual statistics are, okay? Anyway, take a look. Uh, I really hope that you enjoy the video. Alrighty, let's have a look at these babies. Um, you, and by the way, one request before I start. I've been producing a lot of these London closed trade videos lately. And if you like them, if they're the kind of thing that appeal to you, uh, I would it would really mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button because uh, it, it helps the YouTube algorithm to make this kind of trading available to others who, who like this kind of trading when they see that the video is well liked. So thank you in advance for doing that. I really do appreciate it. I'm just gonna simply show you the entry what happened with the trade so this isn't going to take long i mean the main point i want is you know i want to once again show you the huge potential in these trades it's quite staggering not all the time it doesn't but you know uh, i'll show you what can happen with them though you know as well as the extreme accuracy that they've they've provided they've been super accurate so I, i'll go through the there was in the course i show how to trade uh these levels sometimes when they're not at the London close time window because not everybody can be around for the London close. So I'll just show you the kind of stuff that can happen. I'll show you those ones first. Then I'll, there was two of them on Friday and then there was four, four perfect London close trade setups. And I'll just show you them all. So here's the Aussie yen pair. Everything we do is around support resistance. If you look in the upper right here, can you see that this was support and broke below it and it came up to resistance? Pretty obvious. Look over in the daily chart. This is a Good level in here for the one hour chart the lower left look at this really good support resistance it comes up and touches it and now we're starting to look for a trade now it hit this this happened early before the London closed time window so here's what the cell was right here and I kid you not this is the way they set up uh, 11 pip risk the reward potential in this trade was 150 pips now I want to tell you something here that's all nice to say that I'm not, first of all, when I show you these reward potentials, I am never ever saying you know, some, you know, oh yeah, this is what we get on these trades. No, no, no. It, it, everything depends on your own trade management. Are you happy with two to one, three to one, five to one? What do you, what do you like? Do you want to take profit at old levels of support? Those are great places. There's nothing wrong with that. All of this is hindsight. You need to have a trade management plan though before you trade. Okay. Otherwise you're just winging it and you're not going to do well doing that. This trade was a sell right up here, right where the arrow's pointing right in here. It needed an 11 pip risk. This stuff in here is the non-farm payroll and you you probably want to be out of this trade before non-farm payrolls because price was kind of close to your entry and even the spreads alone can kick you out of this trade. So I'm, I'm just going to call this a, uh, I'm just going to call it a, a one to one reward risk even though like I said, it ran for 150 pips over 13 to one, quite a, quite a move. Anyway. Uh, uh, the GJ was the next one. Let me show you on the British pound Japanese yen. Um, can you see on the upper left hand corner? This is the daily chart. That's resistance right there. See this a price that we the way that we measure resistance hit it right perfectly. You can see it on the hourly chart down here and on the five minute chart our entry time frame. Uh, one of our members took this trade right here. He sold it right there. And this is like I say, I show you how to take these trades even if we're not at the London close time window if it hits happens early. So if you're in Australia or you know maybe Europe or whatever and that and you can't be around for the London close and these are the kind of trades you can get as well. This ran down to here before it ran back up but he, he took a two to one reward risk out of this. Perfect you know I mean if it had run further so be it. He took a two to one that was his pro that was his target he hit it and nice trade and then it did all this afterwards this is all more non-farm payroll. Uh, let me show it now. I'm going to show you the London close, the actual London close trades, and these were like smashing trades. The Euro US dollar, 
And this is one thing about these, this uh, LCT trading is that we don't have to worry about red flag news because, and I, I say that 99% of the time we don't have to because red flag news comes out uh, usually around 8.30 Eastern time. Uh, and these things don't set up till like, you know, after 10.30, 11.30, that kind of thing, e uh, Eastern time. So there's, the red flag news has already been released. Uh, it's been absorbed into the market. And uh, that's one of the nice things about trading these. So what did we have here? Well, we have another very good level of resistance in the upper right here on the four hour chart. Here is the trade. Price comes up and hits it. Here's our LCT time window right into here. This needed an 11 pip risk. The sell was right here. One of our members took this and he still has it. He's up five to one on this trade. That's like incredibly good. That, that I think it is anyway. Five to one. Whatever you risk, you made five times that. EJ, Euro Yen. Here, another member took this one. We come down. We hit uh, this level down here, level of support. Okay. And he, what did he do here? I'll just show you on the entry time frame. Uh, it came down into our London closed time window. He bought it right down here. This is what I mean by the accuracy of it. Like you can lose. It could keep going straight down, but that's not what happens most times. You almost always get a chance to at least get risk out of the trade. Well, he got in down, up right down here, wrote it up. It was up actually five to one, but he took it off for a four to one reward risk. Ah, I love it. You know, I love seeing members get these trades. That's what it's all about. So that's the uh, EJ. How about the British pound US dollar? There was another one. Upper left. Look at this daily chart. That's a great, great level of resistance. Wow. That, that's just what we're looking for. And we look for resistance on different time frames, by the way. But anyway, the sell was right up here. Needed a 12 pip risk. How about this move down? Just awesome. That's, a, that's got a 5 to 1 reward risk potential in it. Again, I'll just make the point. I'm not saying that you're going to get five to one. That depends on your trade management plan. But you can see the gigantic potential in these trades are just ridiculous. Uh, New Zealand US dollar pair. You know, would you agree, if I can bring an hourly chart up, that this is a possible level of resistance? It used to be support, it broke it, and now it could be resistance. What would the clue be? The clue could be that we're at the London closed time window and we have a valid setup. That's all it takes. You just take the trade. Don't overthink these things. The sell was right here, 11 pip risk. It went down, had a three to one reward risk potential in it. And the last one I got to show you was another, it's just a smashing trade on this one. US Canadian dollar pair. Well, <laughs> can you, listen, can you see that this is support? If you can see that this is support, by the way, uh, if you know anything about advanced market flow, this was a, a advanced pullback level, which is awesome to see. Anyway, if you can see that that's support, you can trade LCT setups. This isn't rocket science. It's not that difficult. Uh, the, like it takes an hour or just over an hour to go through the course, but I'm, I'm, you should go through it multiple times, but to really understand it and watch all the videos, what, whatever. But I mean, it's not complicated. So comes down, hits it. Where are we? We're in the LCT time frame, time window. Here's the buy right down here, 11 pip risk. And this ran up for a four to one reward to risk. I don't know. Pretty cool. I, you know, um, the members who have taken these trades are, are ju they're just, just traders who are simply following the rules. And there's no reason why you can't do this as well or anybody can't do it. Okay. I'll give you all the information you need. All, all you have to do is just, you just need to have a bit of self-belief. Alrighty. Hope that you enjoyed those. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and please don't forget uh, to hit the like button. Thanks.